Hey, good morning fellow mathematicians, welcome back to another video. So this right here is just a quick and dirty introduction from your daddy right here. So to all my German boys, attention, this right here is going to be in German language. Es gibt jetzt einen deutschen Spreadshirt Shop. Also ihr könnt jetzt meine T-Shirts auch hier in Deutschland kaufen und könnt euch die horrenden Versandkosten aus den USA sparen. So this is it with the German. Um, Announcement you could say. Links will be in the description also. It's nearly Valentine's Day, so you are going to find my new Valentine's collection in my Spreadshirt and Teespring shop. So make sure to check it out. Those two designs, they just came to my mind those days and I think they turned out quite nicely. And also you can find now something highly requested. The fundamental theorem of engineering shirt in some variations in my Teespring shop and my Spreadshirt shop. So make sure to check it out. Don't forget to visit my new website, blah, blah, blah. I do have a new business email, namely pi equals three at papaflammy.engineer. Yeah, that's so amazing. And now I'm wishing you guys, well, a flammable video, I guess. Ciao. Good morning, fellow mathematicians, particle physics here. Let's be honest, no one likes particle physics or elementary particle physics. It's annoying as fuck. I've done it in experimental physics a bit and it was so annoying. I, I absolutely hate experimental physics. I, I just hate experiments. It's so annoying. I want to see numbers and formulas. I just like theoretical physics, that's more mathematical than the stupid ass experimental physics. Never mind, this isn't even the topic for today. So <laughs> today I would like to derive the Dirichlet kernel from scratch using the Fourier series right here. <clears throat> I've made a little video on that in my basal problem video. Check that out just for reference. So you see this right here is just a formula for the Fourier series of some function f of x. So we can basically estimate this function right here using a superposition of cosine and sine waves. Where a naught over two and those a k's and b k's, those burger kings and those r's kings, I don't know, are just our Fourier coefficients. And then we can set a certain interval, meaning we can plug something into our L, where our function is only piecewise continuous on this certain interval. And we are going to take a look at a function with a certain periodicity, that's a hard word, with a certain periodicity on a certain interval, namely on the interval closed or open, it depends on your function, from negative pi to pi. Okay, so this is what we are going to do. And pi is our L right here, respectively. So that means if we plug in our L into here, this is going to cancel out with this pi, so we just have k times x right here in those cosine and sine waves. Okay, so let's rewrite this a little bit. For more reference, watch my basal problem video. Okay, what exactly are our a case and b case? Well, we can write them out. Our a case and b case and our a naught over two are nothing but, well, one over two times L, L is our pi, so one over two times pi, times the integral from negative pi to pi of f of, and I'm going to use a new variable right here for reasons that are going to become apparent in a few minutes. Let's say we have shifted this right here a little bit to the right or the left. Let's say we are going to integrate with respect to x prime. Okay, so this is our first Fourier coefficient and then we have our ak being just a continuous superposition of cosine waves in this case. So one over pi times the integral from negative pi to pi of and then we have f of x prime times the cosine of k times x prime dx prime and the same spiel for the Burger Kings right here, just with a continuous superposition of our sine waves. So bk is nothing but 1 over pi times the integral from negative pi to pi of f of x prime times the sine of k times x prime integrated with respect to x prime. Okay. What you want to do today, we don't want to estimate this function on a certain interval completely. We just want to approximate it to a certain degree. Let's call this degree capital N. Okay, so don't go to infinity, just go to capital N. Just approximating this a little bit. Meaning we can just 
place a little capital N here, if we let N approach infinity, it's just going to be our whole function f of x. But what you can do, you can also just use the approximately sign right here. But let's say this is just f approximated to a certain degree, capital N. <clears throat> okay. Now, what we can actually do, we can plug the information for our Fourier coefficients, <clears throat> I'm terribly sorry, into here and see what we get. And I'm not going to write everything out in each step. I'm going to leave this as a little exercise to the viewer right here. You still have to think about it a little bit. Don't just watch me do stuff. Also try to think about it while watching me do the stuff right here. So what we can do, our integrals are going to be with respect to the same variable. Also, they have the same up and lower bound, meaning we can use the linearity of the integral to add those integrals together. Okay, also we have this common factor of f of x prime. So we can actually factor this out on each term. The only thing in our way at the moment is this 1 over 2 times pi, but here we have 1 over pi and 1 over pi. We can get rid of this problem by just multiplying this by a 1, 2 over 2. So this makes 1 over 2 times pi times 2 times this chunk and also 1 over 2 times pi times 2 times this chunk. <clears throat> and now we can just add those integrals together. So f approximated to a certain degree is now nothing but. Okay, now we have the integral from negative pi to pi of 1 over 2 times pi, this is a common factor, times something big with at the end f of x prime integrated with respect to x prime. Okay, what do we have at first if we factor out f of x prime? This is just going to give us a 1. Okay, so this is actually quite easy, but what else do we have? Well, now we have plus the sum of all those, but you see a common factor is the 2. So why not bring the 2 to the outside, plus 2 times the sum. Running from, okay, this doesn't change, k equals to 1, to capital N of and now we have the cosine of k times x prime times the cosine of k times x. And then we have plus the sine of k times x prime times the sine of k times x. k times x. Okay. And you see here's the really cool thing we can now use in addition formula because this right here is nothing but the cosine of, well, um, this variable minus this variable right here or the other way around. It doesn't matter, that's an even function so we can factor out negative one and just get rid of this negative one because cosine of negative x is just cosine of x. So this is nothing but the cosine of k times x minus k times x prime. So this is nothing but the cosine of k times x minus x prime. Okay, so you see this is really familiar because if we just take a look at this whole ter term right here with this new cosine wave, this is nothing but the nth degree, nth degree, oh goodness, German came through, nth degree, nth degree Dirichlet kernel. So now our function approximated to n terms is nothing but the integral from negative pi to pi of the Dirichlet kernel of the nth degree of x minus x prime times f of x prime integrated with respect to x prime. <laughs> okay, so this is just a pure definition of the Dirichlet kernel and it helps us uh, approximate those Fourier coefficients to a certain degree, this Fourier um, series. Okay, you can rewrite this in different terms. This, this is nothing but the convolution of the Dirichlet kernel with our f of x in this case. So this is just something you can write on a certain interval where our function is periodic. This is nothing but the convolution. If you have done function analysis, you might know about this right here. Or if you have done simple Laplace transforms. And yeah, this is basically it. So we have derived this expression for the Dirichlet kernel in the last video. And now we have actually made use of that to see that our Dirichlet kernel is part of the approximation of a Fourier series of a certain function on a certain interval. I'm pretty certain about that. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe to my comment channel if you like. If you want to support the channel a bit more, you know what you can do by those teachers I created, support channel on Patreon, whatsoever. Check out my new website. Maybe you are going to enjoy the little read and well, up until the next video. 
have a Fourier day. That was quite a hard video to make, I don't know why. So many formulas. See ya. <laughs> Du sollst spielen. Ne, dort spiel. Ja, prima spiel. Du bist ein Dödel. Spiel. Spiel. Oh, lustig. Wow. Guck mal, Akiro. Hier ist ein YouTube-Tutorial, wie man mit Ballons spielt. Prima, siehst du? Bum.